So now that we have a logical volume, we need to format that volume and then mount it. So this is really similar to the way we would format and mount a regular volume. So our first command is going to be mkfs make file system. Uh, mkfs make file system and then we're going to specify the file system ext4 which is a standard that i'm going to use and then we're going to specify the location so it's going to be dev vg dash sales and then my logical volume was lv dash sales and that should create the file system on that for me and you see creating file system allocating all right now at this point i have the file the logical volume formatted, but I still need to mount the volume. And so we're going to mount that the same way we would anything else. So I need to create a uh, empty folder and I'm going to go ahead and put it in my MNT folder and I'm going to create one slash sales. And again, notice that I'm doing all of this as root. Uh, if not, you'll have to do put sudo in front of it. So now I can mount it and it's the standard mount command mount forward slash uh, dev forward slash VG dash sales forward slash LV dash sales. So volume group sales and the logical volume sales is what I named them. And then I'm going to mount it to MNT sales. And remember from our previous video, we were looking at mounting. We can tell if it's mounted correctly by doing a disk free dash H and you're going to see we should have dev mapper VG dash dash sales dash LV dash dash sales and that is mounted we only created it as 100 megabytes so we're actually being reported right here is 93 megabytes uh, we have 86 megabytes free but it is mounted to MNT dash sales now just like mounting a regular uh, partition. If you reboot, this goes away. So you got to remember that if you want it mounted every time by default, you need to put it in the uh, etcfs tab file as something to auto mount. And that's something we talked about in a previous video, so I'm not going to talk about it here. But you can reference back to that previous video. But we do have an issue. And we kind of created it intentionally so we could play with some of the benefits of logical volume management. If I do an LV display, you're going to see that my logical volume here for VG sales is only 100 megabytes. That's actually going to get eaten up pretty darn quick. So if I look at my, I can see that it's based on the VG sales. So if I do VG display, there we go. See if I can type correctly. Ah, uh, that one I'm gonna need. To, I want to specify VG sales because I want to look at just that one. You're gonna see that my size is 127 gigabytes, and at the moment this is the only logical volume I have. I've got a bunch of space that I'm not using here. Well, one of the advantages of doing things with volume groups is it gives us the ability to extend. So I can extend my volume, my logical volume using up more space on my volume group, or I could have multiple uh, logical volumes on the volume group too. So I can extend it. And then I'm also going to be able to add an additional disk in that I can extend the volume group to as well. So extending volumes is something that we're going to look at in our next video.